Well, it's 46 degrees today here at Flagler Beach. Uh, and that's where we're starting out this, this weekend, this Saturday's uh, day trip. We're gonna explore Flagler County and part of Lucia County. And we're gonna see the local winery. We're gonna start out at the Funky Pelican, which is a restaurant. They serve breakfast all day, and it looks like they got some good seafood and stuff too for, for lunch. I think I want lunch food, but my mom wants breakfast. And uh, then we're gonna head up north. We're gonna go to Washington Oaks, and then, which is a uh, state park. Then we're gonna come back down and we're gonna check out the land and we're gonna go to Deltona probably for dinner or else maybe if we're hungry we'll have dinner in the land. Uh, but that's our day trip planned for today. Uh, so here's the beach and then we'll head into the restaurant. We're standing outside the uh, Funky Pelican restaurant. A lot of waves and bird sounds. A big pier there. A sign for Flagler Beach. The sounds of Flagler Beach. The Funky Pelican. Too early for that. I'm gonna try the uh, pokey salmon taco. good is the uh, wasabi in the, in the slaw it's a good it's a really creamy juicy sauce with the uh, wasabi in it and it gets a nice kick these tacos are good so outside we got chalkboard we'll leave our message here restaurant you have this pier uh, if you want you can fish off it but uh, they charge a dollar fifty just to walk out on it so I think we're gonna skip that today and just walk next door to the beach so here's a side view of the pier Flagler Beach Pier and now looking south down the beach here So many birds today. There's a nice view under the pier and looking north. I got a new swim pair of swim shorts for uh, Christmas, but it's a little too cold today. It's in the 40s here, so probably not going to try it out. I picked up a uh, shirt in the gift shop, and I'll wear that maybe in the next episode. Uh, but today, I'm not wearing any t-shirts. It's, it's cold out and I'm wearing long sleeves. Now let's go on to our first uh, non-food destination, non-seafood destination, and that's uh, gonna be Washington Oaks. The ride north from Flagler Beach towards Washington Oaks is nice. It's uh, a lot of houses along the, uh, along the water and on the right side. Uh, there's really not much development. And as we get further north, the houses get bigger here. And then further north, there's just no development at all, and we are in a state park. So the first stop in the park, we're stopping at the picnic area. We already ate, but we are looking at a trail or a, a walkway to the Intercoastal Waterway. And it looks like this should have a nice view of that. For those unfamiliar with Florida, that's the uh, the uh, waterway that's between the barrier islands and mainland of Florida that goes down quite a bit of the east coast of Florida. Look at the canopies of these trees though on the way. This part of the intercoastal waterway is called the Matanzas River, and this is a five-mile hiking trail. And it looks like it's you know large enough where you can take a bike down here if you wanted to. Um, a really easy trail. Good 
sign here about black mangrove. And this is a little different different kind of mangrove than the kind that we saw when we went to the Everglades. That was red mangrove. We got a little footbridge boardwalk here. And we are just a few feet away from the Intercoastal Waterway. Peaceful than the uh, intercoastal waterway in places like Melbourne, where, we, where my mom lives. Fishermen, boats. Other than that, really quiet. And it's even got a beach. This has got to be the most natural part of the uh, intercoastal waterway I've ever seen. see those pencil-like, uh, that's how you could tell it's a, a black mangrove, also the color of the bottom of the leaves there. Let me get my intercoastal waterway selfie here. Let's head back and go to the gardens. Gardens State Park. And it's pretty cold today, but got some big flowers in bloom here. The weather's changed pretty quickly though. This has really been the first real cold weekend. Hopefully the last. And over at the gardens there is some nice overlooks of the bayside as well. As far as gardens themselves, I was definitely more impressed with the uh, botanical gardens in Gainesville last week. Those were really pretty awesome. Um, but this is a nice park for, for other reasons. It's got a lot of coastline on the uh, bay side and some nice oak trees and, and nature. Okay, I found another area of the garden and this is actually a lot more picturesque. And uh, this is where the wedding has moved to. Uh, but they got some nice fountains and stuff here. And it's really nicely landscaped. I think this was the uh, personal property at one point of the guy who owned RCA. So this was converted to a state park at some point from someone's actual estate. Some oranges. Well, the oaks with all the Spanish moss were actually really nice here. And uh, maybe we crashed somebody's wedding. I guess we're gonna head still in the park to the beach side and see what's on that side now. Well, the outside air temperature is 50 degrees, but the uh, water temperature is 64 degrees. Maybe I should have brought my uh, new swim shorts. So this is what they call coquina rock. And coquina rock is bioclastic sedimentary rock that is made from shells. So it's uh, like a limestone, but all of the calcium comes from uh, the shells of once living organisms. And uh, this is a nice example of it here. Uh, this beach is known for that. And the beach itself looks like this. Pretty remote. I hear some aquatic birds. Well, that's the beach side of Washington Oaks Gardens State Park. Let's go have some wine. Here it is. Well, I've lived for years in the part of Virginia, close to wine country. And when I think of Florida, I do not think of wineries and I do not see any grapes, which is, uh, this is probably a typical Florida winery, winery I call it, where they, take wine from elsewhere and infuse it with, with fruits and things like that. But I'm just totally guessing. Um, 
but here we are at a winery by the beach or an alleged winery and we'll see uh, hopefully prove me wrong and uh, even if they do uh, have some infused wine let's hope it's some good infused wine well there is a barrel and we've got some got some wines So you uh, you make the wine here then? Huh? I have another winery in Vineyard, Ohio. In my twenty second year up there starting down here. We're starting our eighth year. Two wineries, two separate things. Yeah. Is that okay? So where you get the grapes from? Are Some, they? Yeah. You, you get the grapes from? Some are from myself. Other grapes we get from here. <laughs> <laughs> And they have a little menu here with the good stuff that you can uh, pair the wine with. Let's see how it is. It's actually not bad. And he said this was a blend with uh, Syrah and, and uh, some of the heavier uh, red wines. I'm also going to try their watermelon slush. All right, on to our next destination. Navigate to the public library. All right, so we are in the parking lot of the Flagler, Flagler Beach Public Library, uh, where you can get on the boardwalk uh, out into the Betty Steflick Preserve. And I heard it's a pretty nice boardwalk. Let's go take a walk. Warning, alligators. Some nice views. We've got a bird flying over there. We've got the causeway there going over the intercoastal. Some palm trees. More of the, uh, the black mangroves. And a nice long boardwalk. And let's see what we see out here in the opening. hear things moving around. Oh, there's a bird. These are some ibises. Another clearing here. You can see some of the houses back towards the beach town of Flagler Beach. Got some islands in there. A lot more boardwalk ahead. Causeway. And that's where we came from. That's the library back that way. So the motto at that winery was uh, get slushed. So this is a uh, good place to go after you've gotten slushed and you want to work out some calories here, they've got a couple miles of boardwalk. And uh, lots of birds. Ah, this one's got a pretty good view. Partially obstructed by a dead tree. But... And I guess next we will head towards uh, Deland and check out the, uh, the the historic downtown area there. Here we are, record store of the week, Groovy Records in Deland, Florida. Woodland Boulevard, which is the uh, the main street of the historic downtown of the land. And look at that, they got some nice murals on the sides of the buildings here. And I see a candy shop coming up. There it is. 
Fat and Tony's chocolate sweet things. That's where we're headed. It's like Neko is back again. I used to live across the street from the Neko factory, and uh, one day I walked across and asked if they'd give a tour. And they said they don't give tours, but they gave me a, a nice Neko hat. I gotta find it somewhere. I think it's still packed in one of my boxes from when I moved to Florida. Got me snowmen and trees. Also got a peppermint cream truffle. Up a candy store. Rusty Razor Barber Shop. What a great name. I'd say the land reminds me a little bit of Gainesville in terms of the uh, atmosphere. But it's uh, the architecture is very different. It's much more, I'd almost say like French Quarter-ish. Well, Deltona seems to be just about completely residential. Um, and there are restaurants and stuff, but it's almost almost totally chain restaurants. So we found something here that looks like it's a little more mom and pop. Uh, it is the Red Bull Asian Bistro, but I could be wrong. This could be a chain too. Um, not 100% sure, but it sounds good and we're hungry. So I guess this is uh, our last destination tonight. Well, it's definitely not a chain restaurant, and it's uh, mostly Chinese food, but they also have a sushi bar, and they've got some Thai selections and things like that. But I think I'm just going to have some uh, Chinese food and call it a day. I wonder what made that whole... I take day trips just about every weekend. I'm based out of Central Florida, so most of my videos will be set in that part of the world. If you're interested in things to do in Florida, or if you just want to come along for the ride, you can hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or any suggestions for future trips, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.